I'd like to demonstrate a, a technique I've been working on to make um, tagged sub-elements that can be used for a number of um, quite impressive and easy to make little little things. So I'll start at the, um, the, the easier end of the spectrum which is to make these little, little three tags. Okay, now I'll just hold it up for you. It looks a bit like three five rings put together, but the, the manufact the way it's manufactured is um, it's designed to make it a bit a bit stronger than you would normally get like that. You start with a three loop, simple three loop, and you put in a four loop, I guess. And in each of the corner of the, the little triangle, the three loop, um, you go around and you put in another one. Right. Now I'm going to do that a bit, a bit faster because I was trying to work through the camera. But you, you pinch off a four loop, you preserve the triangle as you go around, which is what I just didn't do. Alright, so you've got a four loop in the end in each of the corners. And now if you just carefully sort of let them widen, they form that. And that's a really cool thing because with that, for example, you can put clip together and those can be like the corners of a square, of a cube. last one in and you quickly got a little cube like that so they're very quick to make now the for loop is very similar a little triangle in the middle, you have a four in the middle. And you still put little loops of four onto it. Four seems to work the best. And you've got that. Analogously, with the five loops, you start with a five and you just work your way around. Four and four, and four, and four, and four. Five loop doesn't really work that well, it sort of hasn't got any good symmetry with it. It expands like that. Nevertheless, there's some you can be push it down hard enough, or it'll fold flat like that. Six loop. Now six loops are really where it starts to get interesting. Six loop you go around carefully, you've got to sort of hold the one next to the one you're putting on up in the air a bit with your other fingers. And that's just to stop it clicking to connecting to the side ones, which it will if you if you're not careful. Now it's sort of stable like that, but if you push every second one up, so push three of them up and then the other three down, it'll open up into this um sorry, cool cool little little thing like that. And the advantage of that is if you do it a few times, if you push up every third one, you can make these little towers like this. Oop, I'll fold it now this one. If you get the polarity right, that's wrong obviously, so it just turned upside down. And you can assemble those little cool towers. You can push the tops together if you want. <coughs> you could put a point on them. Just have a little rocket ship. Analogously, with the eight ring, you make like this one. I'll, I'll make one of the eight ones. These are a lot more difficult to get right. 
because there's just so many magnets. Right, I'm going to have one more go at making this up on camera. First, you make up this shape. And you go around it into the gaps. You've got to lever those up a bit. You've got to be very careful with the orientation of your loops. So if you get one wrong, the whole thing will just collapse. And then the last one is often tricky. Yeah, that one seems to work. So there we have one. I'm going to keep my fingers in it. Now sometimes they'll just pop together like that. Nothing you can do. Just um, If they do, they'll come apart relatively. That's just happened there. So like that. You can live with that. Now you find which ones are going to click together. The bottom is the opposite polarity to the top. And you can click them together and make a tube. It looks very effective. Now the ends of this will both have the same polarity. In the middle is the opposite polarity. I'll put another one on. You end up making this, um, oh, what's up there? Wrong way. Okay. Beautiful tube, and that's what I made one of those big cubes out of. To come up with something clever in the corners. By the time you figure out. And once you've done that, it's, it's quite easy to separate those, and they'll, they'll stay apart. Put the other one on. Oh. And again, these ones at the top, just separate them. And this time you don't put it, if you want to clip them together, I mean, you don't have to clip them together. But you can, and if you do clip them together, you, there'll be four little points to clip into, so you'd use a fouring. So I'll clip them together. And then a little fouring, and one of those will go in each, each top here. There's a little bullet nose. Or you can assemble them into a cube. I think I've got a picture of a cube coming in the, in the video. But these are quite effective things. They look really cool. Now, going back a little bit. With these other shapes, you can mix them and match them with the higher order shapes. So if you take some of these um, little three angle ones, You can mix them with fours. Let's say I'll put a four on each one. And then in each, in between each four, go three. I'm going to end up. So I keep going around connecting the three tags and then Put the last four tag in. I get this very distinctive, cool, whatever looking shape. I quite like it. You can do something similar with these um, fives. You can put five, five tags, you can put three tags into them. And you would you could just connect the five tags to the five tags if you wanted, and that would work. But here, I'll just sort of click in a few five tags, and I'll keep doing that, and I'll end up with a shape. It's very cool indeed. It's this thing. can't support its own weight without deforming, but when it deforms, it just springs open. That's the face we're putting it on. No problem. Put it on a different face. It's very cool. And it looks nice from that angle. And other angles. 
There we go.